the last of the metallic inorganic and irritant poison that we have to study is zinc zinc is a bluish white lustrous metal it has three salts and all of them are poisonous but they have different types of poisoning so we'll discuss all three of them separately first let's discuss zinc sulfate zinc sulfate is also known as white vitriol and it will basically act as an irritant poison causing gastroenteritis the gastric symptoms will be gi irritation metallic taste in the mouth pain in gullet stomach and abdomen vomiting and diarrhea followed by collapse the fatal dose and fatal period now 15 grams of zinc sulfate will cause death in 5 days while if the dose is increased to 90 grams it will cause death in 2 hours the treatment of zinc sulfate poisoning is the same as that of an irritant poison there will uh, stomach wash should be done there is no specific antidote uh, sodium bicarbonate and demulcents are also indicated rest of the treatment should be symptomatic the post mortem appearances is also that of an irritant poison coming to the medico legal importance it can be used in suicide homicide abortion due to its appearance it can be mistaken for epsom salt and accidental poisoning can be uh, there by eating food cooked in galvanized vessels or stored in gal galvanized vessels the next zinc salt is zinc chloride it has a strong corrosive action it will destroy the mucous membrane of mouth throat esophagus and stomach there is severe vomiting purging with tenesmus and blood shock will occur and there are remissions uh, in which the patient will feel okay and then recurrences can occur the chronic poisoning of zinc chloride will be the same as that of lead and copper the fatal dose is about 400 mg that is it is more toxic than zinc sulfate the fatal period is about few hours due to shock and if there is remission then several weeks can pass before death treatment should be that of the corrosive poisoning and post mortem symptoms are also that of corrosive poisons the last zinc salt is zinc phosphide it has a steel gray crystalline powder like appearance it has a garlicky odor on reaction with gastric acid it will liberate phosphine gas and it will cause all of the symptoms of zinc phosphide poisoning that are dyspnea pulmonary edema bradycardia circulatory collapse or neurological symptoms coma and death shock oliguria acidosis tetany and convulsions can also be there the fatal dose is about 5 grams of zinc phosphide and fatal period the treatment is of zinc phosphide for a few hours to 24 hours uh, if the contact is local or if the poison is ingested if the, there is topical uh, contact then the area should be washed with soap and water and if it is ingested then the stomach wash should be with the sodium bicarbonate so that phosphine gas is not produced but one problem with zinc phosphide is that it will adhere to the crypts of the stomach so even if a stomach wash is done some of it will adhere and stick to the gastric mucosa and delayed absorption will be there so the patient needs to be kept under supervision and um, watched for symptoms supportive measures will include administer administration of vitamin k corticosteroids and sedatives because it can cause hemorrhages post mortem appearances will show petechial hemorrhages in the skin garlic odor on opening the stomach liver spleen kidney etc will show congestion and necrobiosis of liver will be there same as in phosphorus poisoning the medico legal importance is it can be used in suicide homicide because it is easily available as a rodenticide accidental poisoning is also there among farmers and children of course they like to put everything in their mouths don't they the last thing about zinc poisoning is metal fume fever or monday fever no not the one you fake when you don't want to go to universities on monday 
it's actually the fever of the workers who work in industries and happen to be exposed to zinc fumes or chromium fumes or cadmium or cobalt or manganese or mercury or magnesium etc the fever uh, will manifest as chills muscle pain fatigue cough uh, salivation sweating tachycardia cyanosis etc and the fever will resolve 36 hours after exposure to the fumes is ceased so the worker will feel okay at the weekends when he is not exposed to the fumes but as soon as he goes to work on monday he will feel the same symptoms that's all about zinc